Greetings everyone. Hope you're having a wonderful day today. It's a beautiful sunshiny day here and it's um, getting close to the end of May. So today is May 20th, 2021. And today we're going to talk about love, sweet love. And so I'm continuing this Lover of My Soul series and we'll be transitioning pretty soon into another series which will come probably in the middle of June. So I hope you've been enjoying this. We're coming out of Psalm 19 verse 10, the Passion Translation, and it reads, the rarest treasures of life are found in his truth. That's why God's word is prized like others prize the finest gold. Sweeter also than honey are his living words, sweet words dripping from the honeycomb. Wow, that sounds like a sweet love, doesn't it? Psalm 119 verse 103 in the Passion Translation says, How sweet are your living promises to me. Sweeter than honey is your revelation light. And then Psalm 119, 105 in the Passion Translation says, Truth's shining light guides me in my choices and decisions. The revelation of your word makes my pathway clear. So we're talking about love, sweet love. So I have a question. Have you ever uh, been in love or thought you were? And the person you were in love with or maybe are in love with, have they ever disappointed you? I'm sure the answer is yes. Well, would it surprise you to know that God already knew that that would be the case? Why? Because God designed us that his love, his agape love, his unconditional love, would be the love that would meet all of our needs. It would be the love that would um, bring us into wholeness and into that solid relationship, that intimate relationship, that sweet love. Do you know God's love is sweet? It's loving, it's kind, and it's precious. It's a precious gift. It's a treasure. And so God created us as his creation to be in a love relationship with him. To go to him as, as the first resource. So I have great news for you today. Every single area of your life where you may be lacking, where you may be challenged, where you may feel empty, where you've been trying to, to meet the need over and over again and, and just haven't been able to really get it resolved. Let me read this to you again. The rarest treasure of life, treasures of life are found in his truth. His truth is talking about his word. That's why God's word is prized like others prize the finest gold. You know, gold is supposed to be, I believe I'm right in saying this, the, the highest form of treasure in the earth as far as its value. And so sweeter also than honey are his living words, sweeter words dripping from the honey, sweeter than, I'm sorry, sweet words dripping from the honeycomb. That's how God's love is because his word is his love letter to us. Isn't that amazing? So if you want to hear somebody, you know, in, in the, there's like a saying about whispering sweet nothings in your ear, but God never speaks nothing. Everything he speaks has value and has a purpose. And the things he speaks over you is that you are fearfully and wonderfully made in his image and in his likeness. That he loves you with an everlasting love. That there's no love greater than his. 
that he loved you so much that his son came and laid down his life for you as if you were his friend. Wow. The creator of the entire universe calls you his friend. Wow. Now that is sweet. Can you imagine the busiest person you may know has all these different things going on and yet... I mean, if you think about the billions of people on this people planet, and yet the word of God says he knows you so intimately well that he has numbered the very hairs on your head. And even greater than that, he knows when one of them falls out. Wow. If you just try to think about the magnitude of that. Wow. So today... I want to encourage you to begin spending time reading this amazing love letter and experience for yourself the sweetness of God's love. Sweeter than honey on the honeycomb, or some might say sweeter than the sweetest or greatest dessert that they love. How about that? How about that? sweet. And this is the kind of sweet that won't damage your health. Hallelujah. Praise God. So I like to give the simple steps. So here they are again. And y'all forgive me for repeating, but I never know who is going to be on these lives. So here we go. Simple steps. Spend time daily in God's love letter. Now, I just thought of something that I haven't talked about, and that is that um, the different versions that are out of the actual Bible, God's Word. So, traditionally, it used to be King James. Well, the challenge with King James is it's written in the old English language, so it's a lot of these, thous, and those. <clears throat> So I suggest New King James Version, which is more applicable to um, everyday English language. And then recently, the Passion Translation is really just amazing as far as God's love language. Now, the challenge with the Passion is they haven't uh, translated every single book yet. So it's mainly Psalms, Proverbs, and most of the New Testament, which is okay because I recommend that you start with the Psalms for comfort, you go to Proverbs for wisdom, and then the four Gospels, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, will help you to get to know Jesus as your Savior and your Lord on a really intimate level where you can see what he did and how he did it. So that's one simple step. The other thing is take some time in prayer. Now let me back up. Don't get into a a um a bondage about reading the word. Don't say I have to read an hour. I have to no. Get in the word. I started 7 minutes a day. So I just encourage you to start. And as you are consistent with whatever you decide to do, then God will um, draw you with more hunger for the word. And then you'll find yourself being, you know, caught up in an hour and like, oh, wow, I've already spent an hour. So just start. That's the key. Start. Prayer. Prayer is talking to God. But the most effective prayer is praying God's word back to him. So I'll give you a small example. An example is, thank you, Lord, that all of my needs are met according to your riches in glory by Christ Jesus. That is a scripture in Philippians. I'm sorry, I don't know the exact uh, verse right now. I believe it's in Philippians 4. But the point is, uh, the word of God is his love letter, but it's also faith because it's living. So if you pray God's word back to him, you know that you are in the will of God because that is his, his word is his will. 
Amen. And then worship and praise. Now, I want to be very clear here because there's a lot of Christian music out and I'm not knocking any of it. But the things that are most effect effective for your spirit and your soul are, th are songs that focus on God's name, his character, his nature, and his faithfulness, his goodness. So just if you're listening to something and it's talking about what you're going through and all of that, I mean, that's okay. But if your attention is given to God and his character and his nature, then that will encourage you more and it will put more of the focus on God so that he responds to that. Remember, this is a mutual love relationship. This goes two ways. Amen. Remember, we're talking about the lover of your soul. And how many of you have ever been in a relationship where you're the only one doing the loving? That's not really a relationship, right? That's just, I don't know what that's called. So I just want to encourage you to um, stay focused on God and his love. His sweet love for you today. Amen. I uh, just want to pray for you real quick and then mention that uh, my website is thehealingminister.com. There is a blog on there called The Healing Hub. And I so appreciate those of you who have been encouraging me and uh, getting on and making comments and liking and loving and all those things. I appreciate you more than you know. So thank you so much. Father God, I just want to thank you for your people. I thank you, Lord God, for your faithfulness to them. I thank you, Lord God, for continuing to show yourself strong on their behalf. Lord, let them experience today your love, your sweet love, the love that is sweeter than the honeycomb. Lord, as they uh, step out in faith and spend time in your word and spend time in prayer, I pray, Lord God, that you would draw them by your spirit more and more and more and more. Thank you, Lord. And Father, for those who do not know Jesus Christ as their personal Lord and Savior, it's my prayer that they would ask him into their heart and, and ask for forgiveness of their sins, confess that they believe that Jesus died, was buried, and rose again on the third day. And I thank you, Lord. It is that simple. And Lord, I just pray that as they make that declaration in their heart, that the outward manifestation of what they've done will be revealed in their lives, Lord. Not just uh, to them, but to others around them, Lord. Father, thank you for this day. Thank you for your grace, your mercy, and your goodness. We glorify you and praise you in Jesus' name. Amen. Blessings to you. Thank you so much. And I will be on live again tomorrow by the grace of God. Amen.